Hi, baby, Cherry. Help is still on the way for Hurricane Irma victims, John Arking reports. Starting today and lasting through Saturday, the FEMA Disaster Recovery Center is coming to the Flagler County Library Main Palm Coast Branch. Flagler County Human Services Program Manager Janet Nichols said anyone, whether individuals or small business owners, who needs additional assistance with FEMA registration for disaster claims, mucking, roof tarping, or other questions is encouraged to come. Recovery specialists from the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the U.S. Small Business Administration will also be available to provide assistance to anyone filling out their applications or updating their status. Also participating will be the State Housing Initiative Partnership and SNAP, formerly the Food Stamps Program, as well as Flagler Volunteer Services and an insurance representative to answer general homeowner insurance questions. The Disaster Recovery Center will be open from 1 till 8 p.m. today and from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. the remainder of the week through Saturday. Residents can also register with FEMA online at disasterassistance.gov. John Arking, Flagler's Morning News. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. Thanksgiving may be an especially thankful time for some Palm Coast residents. That's the target date for pickup of all remaining debris piles left behind by Hurricane Irma. Peter Killeen reports. Currently, crews are at about the halfway point of what city officials hope to be two complete passes to get rid of the hurricane debris. 9,500 cubic yards has been picked up so far, and National Hauler Crowder has made quite a dent in that number with the equipment it's been using locally. Prior to that, the city could only turn to Waste Pro, which handles regular trash pickups. It makes sense that sections F and C with older trees were harder hit and that those areas required more of the focus early on. Unincorporated areas have had challenges, as Flagler County's been able to get just one of Crowder's trucks, along with smaller county vehicles for the effort. Those areas may take up to three months for debris removal. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Peter Killeen. As the recovery from Hurricane Irma continues, beware of scammers. The state of Florida doesn't want you to fall victim. They're reminding you that all FEMA representatives will have a photo ID badge and the federal agency doesn't use contractors. They say no FEMA representatives will ever ask you for your financial information. If you have a FEMA registration number, don't give it up to just anyone. They say you should shield it like you would your social security number. They say be very leery of door-to-door salesmen who are claiming to help fix or repair your home. They say these people are often con artists who will take your money and run. If you believe you've fallen victim to fraud, call the FEMA Disaster Fraud Hotline at 1-866-720-5721. Veterans are being honored at the Flagler County Supervisor of Elections Office. They want your photos of vets, complete with a service member's name, dates of service, and branch of service. Their photos will be posted on a feature wall in the office's lobby in honor of Veterans Day that's less than one month away. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.